GHQ presents At the Barbershop Real gentlemen Real topics This has happened to me plenty times If I sleep for two hours it makes more sense to my body and my system than watching match for two hours. Now all the time when you don't use watch match, what you use that? Real talk. And it turns out that that was an affirmation is actually my biggest love language as a person. Watching football is not a waste of time. You watch movies, you have sex with random chicks. No, because... <laughs> <I can't... laughs> <laughs> and they look into how it's styled for men. All at the GHQ Barbershop. On this episode at the Barbershop, we're going to be speaking about things we men wish women would say. Right? Now, hard guy, hard guy doesn't necessarily mean we men are not emotional or maybe sensitive. It might just be the little things as much as, hey, baby, you know what? I'm going to take the bill on the night out. Or maybe, my man, I'm going to get you the new PS5. I mean, some people are just emotional and just want you to hear those simple, simple things that you don't feel are important that men want to hear. And um, today, we're going to be having that conversation with our host, who is Aisha Raji, that go that's going to be calling in from home. And I have Deji and Ademide in the barbershop with us. At the barbershop. 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 Real talk. At the barbershop. Barbershop. Are you a sensitive guy? Yeah, of course. Uh, How extremely sensitive. sensitive. <laughs> Deja, are you sensitive? Oh yeah, sure. I am. So, have you by chance expected a woman to say something to you before that they never said? Yeah, of course. Um, for sure. And, and the reason why this topic is, is actually very... <coughs> Um, passionate to me is that um, you know about the, the five love languages now. That whole yeah, that's that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so but that, that's in real. It is. I'm just, no, asking. It is, I'm, I'm just, I'm just asking. It is. No, it is. It is. It is for real. Um, there is one of them that's called words of affirmation, and it turns out that that words of affirmation is actually my biggest love language as a person. You understand? What that means is that one of the ways that you can show love to me as a guy. By saying the right things at the right time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. So this topic is actually a very, very passionate one for me. So Ademide, over to you. Is, has there been any point in time where you've expected a woman to say something to you and they didn't say it to you? I mean, you said you're sensitive, obviously. I guess hmm. those yeah. words might be important to you. Yeah, um, of course. Um, you always wish, you know, for the woman you like. Yeah, you wish that she gives you assurances, you know. To make sure that whatever you're doing is getting to her and you're getting a reciprocation, you know. So yeah. So are you that kind of guy that that feels oh there's a babe you like right and you haven't even you haven't even you never even touched the babe right and you just have that babe come to you to say ah I didn't mean you know what I really 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 like you <laughs> or you be that guy you say you just rather be the one to go and have that conversation with her I mean doesn't it make it more interesting if she comes to you to tell you okay you know what I like you I want to be with you. Yeah, um, honestly, yeah, uh, as a striker, you know, mm. I like to... Number nine. Once I see a girl I like, yeah, mm. so I do, I like to I like to be the one chasing and doing all of that. But most times, when a girl comes to me and all of that, it's usually not, it's usually not the same. It will be a dream come true, of course, to see a girl that I actually like, you know, come up to me and tell me, you know, a few things or, you know, come into my DM, you a know. A few I'm... things like what? What do you expect her to see? <laughs> what do they say? That thing, that thing. Yeah. thing no, you know, you know, you know, like the DM. you know, you know, you know, women, women are never straightforward like us, you know. Mm. So they, you know, they just find their ways, you know, to start out. They want to start things, you know, but rarely do you see a girl that will come out and tell you, you know, that, you know, you, you rarely see a girl shooting her shots. You know, that's why it's currently in vogue right now to see, you know, a girl shooting a shot because it's not something they do all the time. Or it's something we, you know, we wish will happen more, yeah. more how, often. How would you want a girl to shoot her shot if she wants to shoot her shot in the DM? Well, uh... <laughs> Abi, are you expecting her to say, hey, Adem, um, are you free? Let's have drinks tomorrow. I mean, is that shooting shot? So, 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 just to even add to what um, Adia said, 
women should be assured in different ways, right? Mm. Um, because of the kind of society we are in Nigeria, the culture, you're not used to women should be assured. Women are not trained to be like that, right? So mm. the ones who do it, do it from the side, do it indirectly. I mean, I've had quite a number of experiences. People <laughs> slide into my DM. IG celebrity. They'll send you a message, they'll say, um, I, um, I'm into this, I'm into that. Um, <laughs> please check my page. Or please, they will, they will they would send you a message with their personal page, telling you to follow their business page, something like that. Mm. I mean, it, it's indirect, but as a sharp guy, you know that this baby is trying to get my attention. One, one, I am some, an, another one that happens frequently is that they will slide into your DM, check your pictures, and like your like like five or six of your pictures. Once the babe does that, does that, you know where that she starts. Starts. You know where she's headed. She would she wouldn't come out to you and say, "Oh, mm-hmm. guy, alpha, I like you now." Do you understand? Because naturally, right, the way women are naturally designed is. They are designed to wait while men are designed to want. Yeah. So mm. it's out of their natural um, characteristics to come out and say, "Yeah, hey, Alpha, I like you." But it happens, and whenever that happens, that's very fantastic. So, if a babe was going to shoot in your DM, mm. right? What would you expect a babe to write to you in the DM? Like, if she was with you in person, in front of you, what would you want her to say to you? Okay, so. Can we even twist it a bit? Because, because, because no, no, it, it, it's, it's true. Because right now we are speaking about a babe that is that is that that is um, sliding into our DM. This is a babe that we barely know. Let's even talk about the proper context of a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. When you are dating, mm-hmm. what do you expect your babe to say to you? If you are married, what are the things that you expect your wife to say to mm-hmm. you um, from time, like time to time? Do you get? Um, and what I have to say to that is that the society we are in today. Right, as trained women to, to be hard men. Um, so as a guy, you have to be hard. Right? As a young boy, if you are crying, your parents will tell you, stop it. why are you crying, you're a man, that kind of thing. Right? So we've grown up to be come very, very hard in our heads, right? We can't be vulnerable, we can't open up to people. You understand? You if you find a man being vulnerable, it's almost uh, being interpreted as them being weak. But that is actually wrong. You understand? And that's a big problem with men today. Because if you check out um, the rate of suicide, there are more men committing suicide. Right, um, crime. We have more men committing crime. Right, oh, even this oh. COVID nineteen, more men are dying from COVID nineteen. There's a lot more expectation from men. Do you understand men, from you men? Know? So mm-hmm. the weight, the load is a lot more. Right. So if our ladies can say the right things to us, just support us. Ah, man, yeah, you're very hardworking. Right. I can see what you're doing. So an example is you're very hardworking. Yes, you're very hardworking. Do you understand? Right. Ah, you're a very good-looking guy. You're handsome. Right. <laughs> you're this. You're that. that kind Another of thing, thing is, oh, baby, you know what? We don't have a problem. I got you. I got. No, no. Are we are we talking <coughs> couples? Are we talking pickup lines? Are we talking? I mean, couples pickup lines in general. Right? Okay. In general. 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 So, as a, I mean, couples. The truth is, see, there there are cases where you've had um, women say to men that, oh, you don't say the right things to me. I wish you would tell me how how much you love me. I wish you tell me how beautiful I am. But the question is. Does the woman say to the men, self that you're saying, I mean, ah. I, you don't tell me how much, how pretty I am and everything. But again, the man who still wants to, I need wants, to, wants, too, wants, because I'm wants to hear, yes. oh, yeah, hey, ah, my fine I boy. Think, I, think, I think at the end of the day, when there's a meeting of the minds, do you understand, mm. where the two of them are on the same wavelength, mm. do you understand? These are one of the things that a woman, this is one of the things, you know, both parties need to know affirmation, you know, to get affirmation and be like, okay, we're doing things, you know. But at the end of the day, you see girls that are waiting on the guy to, you know, do the chasing, Mm -hmm. do everything, you know. Then they'll be giving you subtle hints, Mm -hmm. you know, subtle hints once in a while, you know. A woman will never say, come and touch me or anything, you know, but... They you will have to, just. You have to figure it out yourself. You have to guy. figure it out. You know. Uh, this is Nigeria today. You, can, you can't figure it out yourself. You have to ask. <laughs> you have to ask. Right? Yeah, but, asking. But, but the point he's trying to make is that mm-hmm. a woman would, before a woman will come out and tell you, tell you, this is what I want. Yeah, and and we, we you know, the the Western world, you know, they are a lot more outspoken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, a woman is is going to tell you what she wants. She if she wants a one night stand or whatever, she just comes and tells you. This is what I want to. Do you understand? Because and you need explicit, um, or th- um, what what do I call it now? Permission. 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 Because you know, over there, if you touch somebody, the next thing they say is rape, and it's a word against yours. You know. So, I think um, 
if we have our women come out, they've got desires also. I always say that women are freakier than men, mm. in my opinion. Mm. You understand? But because of our society, do you understand? They can't come out. To yeah, they're the ones. Yeah, it. they so, yeah. you know. Except when you guys get to a level, mm. do you understand them? Yeah, you know, or when you guys are in the room. So, guys, guys, so, it, so it doesn't seem as if we're just men and we're having this conversation. Um, yeah. I'm going to bring in one of our hosts, Aisha Raji. Mm -hmm. I mean, she couldn't make it here today, so we have to put a call through to her. Let's even hear her own feedback and let her ask a few questions that she would like to know about things that, you know, I mean, she would like to find out one or two things, right? Yeah. So, um, Aisha. Hello. Aisha, are you hi, there? Hi, hi everyone. How's it going? Fine, fine, oh, fine. Oh, we're good. Oh. You know the topic we're speaking about today. How are we staying with COVID and all? Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. All right, then. I'm excited to to um, have a piece of this conversation. So if you can just get me up to speed as to what's been, what you guys have been talking about. Okay, so um, here at the barbershop, we're speaking about um, things we men would wish, wish we men would say. And um, okay. we've been going through the rounds of, oh, um, it'll be nice for a woman to slide in our DM once in a while and say, oh, you know what, I want to have drinks with you, rather than go around beating about the bush saying, oh, follow my business page. Uh, the conversation went on to um, how men feel, oh, you know what, um, women to have that drive, that physical drive, yeah. and sometimes, I mean, speak to the man and say, you know what, I want to spend the night with you. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the man to have to come to say that all the time. Right. But again, you know, I right, mean, we right. can't be having this conversation and not have a woman, you know, be going on. Okay. come into it. So, I mean, again, we want you to have a feel of the conversation. I mean, do you have anything you want to ask? Because I feel like you women, obviously, don't say some of these things for a reason, but again, we're emotional yeah, men sure, too. For so. sure. Yeah. I think first of all, right, I think it's very rich that, you know, guys would wish women would say certain things when I feel as though, you know, all the time, okay, all the time, women wish that men would say a lot of things, okay? I feel like the average woman is still even more like, and I might, obviously I'm biased, right? Um, but I think that the average woman is even more like vocal relative to the average man. So it's very interesting that, you know, the conversation is what we wish, it, you, what you guys wish we would say or we would ask you, etc. Mm -hmm. But um, what I, I guess for, for Ademide, you can start first. Like what is, what is the one thing that you're just always like, oh, I know you want to ask this question or you want to say this thing, but you can just never... The, like the woman can just never say it but you know and she knows and it's like this unspoken thing but she, it's never said like what's that one thing that really irks you i'm interested in knowing well um i think um girls girls want to they want companionship a lot of times you know but sorry i, I think girls want you. companionship a lot of times but they okay. want it to come from the guy many times mm -hmm. um and um apart from just companionship like talking over the phone i mean like spending time and spending a night do you okay. get what i mean because i think um there's a lot of um you know when guys and girls date you know <clears throat> yeah. there's a lot that goes on in the intimate sphere you know so yeah. um girls will just be like i'm coming over you know, and they'll never tell you um, what they're coming over for, you know, but they want you to, they, 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 they yeah, they want you to figure it out, you know, without them saying much. So, you know, yeah. and, and we even see, um, we, we, we see when girls will be like, I'll soon be going home, or, you know, and that, that, that <laughs> and that sentence alone, you know, I'll soon be going, you know, it's, it's, five words or there about but carries a lot, a lot you know so okay. Okay. yeah so i I'm, I'm just looking at things from that energy aspect yeah 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 because you know like i said um we there are a lot of things women we we just shy away from when it comes to the girl ch
Hi guys, my name is Moyasore Shogweson. I'm the creative director of Mobile Moyasore, a bespoke fashion unit. Today on How It Styled, we are going to be focusing on how to style a three-piece suit. So many people make fashion mistakes in wearing suits and styling it. So a three-piece suit can come in um, a formal suit and it can come in a tuxedo. But we will be focusing on the formal environment, not a tux life. When styling it, a suit generally, you need to know your body type. If you're a slim person, you should wear a suit with a slim lapel. And if you are a bold person, you can wear a suit with a bold lapel as well. Styling the three piece suit goes differently in different environments. If you work in a corporate environment like banks and wear your three piece suit, if it's going to be a plain fabric, you can wear your striped shirt, a checkered shirt, a plain tie, and probably a pocket skirt to spice it up. If you're wearing a plain suit, remember to wear a plain shirt and you can wear a pattern tie that goes with the jacket. If you are wearing a patterned suit, a check suit, remember your shirt should be plain and your tie preferably plain because the jacket is busy already. So once you wear um, a patterned jacket, you wear a patterned shirt, you wear a patterned tie, you are committing uh, an error. So that's good for in a corporate environment, be it bank that doesn't want it too mushy mushy and all. But if you are starting it with a tuxedo as well, you can wear it in notch lapel, peak lapel, it can come in short lapel as well. And you should probably have your standard black tie too. Styling a, a three piece suit like you are seeing on the screen, you can see the sleeves of the shirt is sitting on the wrist. That is ideal. The sleeve of the jacket must be half inch shorter than the sleeve of the shirt. So your sleeve, the sleeve of the shirt must be visible when styling suit in general. But now that you are focusing on a three-piece suit, make sure your shirt sits on your wrist while the length of uh, your sleeve of your jacket is half inch shorter and your shirt to be visible. Then I'm wearing a gray three-piece suit. I'm wearing a white grip shirt and a very patterned tie for a ideal for a corporate environment. You can spice it up. You can wear a lapel pin like I'm doing now and then. You can use um, a pocket square if it is not too much. Depends on the corporate environment you work. Some people don't want that spice. And if you are wearing a grey suit, a grey three-piece suit, it, it, is, it is ideal. It is very nice for you. You can get a tan brown shoe just to go with it. The combination is superb and very, very efficient and nice. Thank you for joining me today on Ari's Star at Baba Shop. See you next time. Cheers. How it's styled at the Barb's Shop. Like I said, um, we, there are a lot of things women, we, we just shy away from when it comes to the girl child and when it comes to women. Like, we don't even do proper sex education. We don't, when it comes to sexual side, um, women don't express. You know, so I would like to, I, I would like to take things from that angle and I wish that women come up more with their desires, you know. And right. I think, and I think that leads to another reason why a lot of women end up dissatisfied, you know, in the right. marriages or sexually because they, like they never come out mm -hmm. to, um, they never teach, there is no class that teaches you how to satisfy a woman. It's actually easier to satisfy a man, you know, but when it comes to satisfaction for women, um, I think um, there's a lack of knowledge. And um, we wonder where we're going to get this education, if not from the women. So Fair that's enough. my summation. Yeah. OK. 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 I, so I, I, take, I take it that your, your angle is from like sexual, like a sexual thing, right? In yes. terms of like communication sexually, right? That's yeah. where your your want is from, right? Yes, that's where my that's okay. where I'm taking okay. things right. from. Yeah. And Ayodeji, how about you then? Um well um 
I mean, my point is actually similar to um, what he has said, right? Um, okay. the, pro- the problem is that a, lo- a lot of women leave a lot of things unsaid, right? And they expect um, women to just figure it out. I'm sure most right. of, most of us must have seen some of these jokes online where you would see like a manual on, on, on how to understand women and you see a book that's <laughs> as long as from here to here. <laughs> <laughs> you understand, right? So it's actually not easy to understand women because the way women think, women don't think like men. Men think in compartments. But for a woman, everything Sorry. is intertwined, right? The woman is speaking to you about her job and the next thing she's crying about a colleague that died 10 years ago. How are those two things related? For a guy, if I'm talking about work, I'm talking about work. When I finish work, I can then move to something else. But women, everything is intertwined, right? And that makes it even more difficult women for men. Women are complex human beings. Exactly. From exactly. Time. Exactly. We're saying the same thing, right? So that even makes it more difficult for men to understand women. And the more reason why a woman should communicate a lot more. Do you understand? Tell us some of these yeah. things that you expect us to do. Let us know. That will really help us in satisfying your need as a woman, meeting your need as a woman. That's one angle. And generally, um, another angle is that um, a lot of men wish women can say a lot more in terms of support, right? You see a guy, a guy is hustling, he's doing all he can to make um, ends meet. He's doing, he's, the guy is doing all, um, all he can to make you happy, right? The least you can do as a woman is to say, oh, man, guy, I can see all you're doing. Well done, right? Keep it up. I got you. Do you understand? You're doing very well. Oh, in the future, I see you being this, I see you being that. So right? what do you want? Do you want the well done or do you want her to also put some money on the table? Which one is it? Both. <laughs> <laughs> both. Especially these days that, are, that, so that, that we are preaching okay. the sermon okay. of equality, right? Do you understand? Okay, I mean, carry since, on. Right. Yeah, since well, we are I mean, when it serves you, law, yeah, for sure. Carry on. Yeah, I mean, these days we are preaching the same amount of equality, do you understand? So yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't be bad if the lady can also put some money right like, on the like, 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 like say, oh, well done, and you know what, I'm taking up the bills today. Exactly, do you understand? <laughs> Something as simple as that, I'm taking up the bills today, oh, you know what, I can see you need this, I'll get it for you, or I'll sort this out for you. Yeah, I need, you a, I need a PS5, yeah. I know, so, <laughs> so you get me a PlayStation, you can buy a PlayStation for me. <laughs> okay, so I hear you, I hear you, I hear you both. I think for me, right, I all of, obviously, what, what you are saying, what both of you are saying, there's definitely some truth to it. And I think that in any case, right, the dynamic between men and women, the only thing that can, I guess, not necessarily solve it because there's no solution, but can probably mediate conflict is communication, right? Yeah, exactly. So for sure, for sure, I think even conversations like this are super helpful and super, like, necessary but i must say to adim midday right i think that whilst you know you expect the average woman to be quite vocal when it comes to like her sexual desires etc you must understand that the society like if we're taking the average nigerian woman the average african woman society shuns on a woman that is you know vocal in that regard to the extent that you start to look at her sideways like damn like how do you know all of this and all of that so you must understand that perhaps maybe the reason why women are less vocal when it comes to sexual issues is because they don't want you to be thinking that maybe they're like far too experienced which has come from maybe them like just like pouring around right so that's probably where i think most of the women so i feel like a lot of women perhaps will know one or two things or one and say, you know, do it this way or do it that way. But for fear of like you look at you looking at them sideways, like, hmm, I don't know. They will just be quiet and everything. So put that in. And this is like the average woman again. It's like mm-hmm. the average person on the street. And I, I, for sure, I think that's the case. And I think like for IODG, like I hear you, I hear you completely. I feel like, you know, as like a woman on the independent train myself, I completely hear that. But I think that a lot of times, um, the honors i feel really whilst it's it's still like we're still talking about like gender um equality etc i feel like the honors for like provision should still lie in the man's corner in the same way as the honors of say for example taking care of the home on average should still lie in the woman's corner i don't so whilst like gender roles are now merging together, I think that there are certain things that should be your primary responsibility, right? Mm-hmm. And it's okay for the for the for the um, um partner or the other person to like 
you know, help. It's actually encouraged, right? Yeah. But um, I think the average, like, Lagos girl just thinks that, I don't know, like, I, yo, this one is about my headache. And I can't say that I agree with them. But I think that for me personally, for me to be able to say, I can definitely, like, encourage it. And that's why I asked that, okay, is it words or is it bad? Like, am I dropping the bar? Because in the same way, like, I, I also need to make sure that I am not, you know, investing in someone that is, do you know what I mean? That is just, like, sucking me as well. So mm -hmm. I hear you and I feel like, okay, obviously men like women want support in every way possible. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like the, the original gender roles maybe can like can not maybe like um allows or doesn't allow for these conversations to be had as often as probably they should be mm -hmm. yeah so yeah that's those are my thoughts on it so deji deji what are your what are your um what are your thoughts um what's the one thing you think that a woman should say or would you you would like a woman to say i mean again um i i i'm i'm on i'm on on the side of the fence with Ademide and Ayodeji because right I of feel because <laughs> I just feel like you know what um women too need to be expressive I understand the whole idea of um words of affirmation right but the truth is um where Ayodeji stands where you speak about word of affirmation men in our society never get as much word of affirmation as women Right. And they feel that because uh -huh. men do not require those words of affirmation, which I think is very, very important. The man will not ask for it. He will not say yeah. it. But truth be told, mm -hmm. the man wants to be told, oh, you know what? I am proud of you. Like, you yeah, know what? Sure. You know, you're the best in other... You know, all of those words of affirmation. It's very, very important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Fair enough. Right? I think at least I know that I'm not now because I also and this will probably be the final thing that i would say but you must also know that like the african man obviously perhaps maybe like our generation is slightly changing ever so slightly but like the average african man is so macho in in everything hard guy hard guy it's just not the way we're trained we're things well, have moved beyond saying, hard guy right? hard so guy it's, it's, yeah it's actually because what, of the way i feel we're like trained. what you guys are now bringing to the table is a new world order which will take time to really do you know what i mean to really because like i feel like the average african man would rather so rather so like for example like i don't necessarily know that like the, the like maybe like my parents generation they used to say things like i love you but they would show that they loved you do you know what i mean mm. so it's interesting that i feel like the love language has come has now or is now moving from you know um acts of service to now maybe like physical touch or words of affirmation you know more more recently so it's a status quo that i think that probably is necessary because we all bleed red right um mm. african men are not african men but um i feel like the what you know like posture is that you got this anyways and i feel like the average woman is just like ah, maybe you have it no and no, no, they'll just fall back but maybe it's also the honest is also on these men to actually one time just one time say it and be like babe like i work so hard the least you can do is just you know and mm -hmm. if you say it one time and she doesn't take the cue, then you know you know there's a problem. But if you don't even say it at all and you're expecting a certain thing that is not is not the standard or is not the norm, then maybe you're asking for a bit too much. Those are my final thoughts. Because you know I stay rapping for the women, okay? So yeah. <laughs> all right, obviously. Then. Thank you, Aisha. Right, Thank guys. you for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you very guys. much, Aisha. All right. Take care. All right. Take care. So guys. Um, that's 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 it for today um it's a wrap um do not forget to follow us on youtube ghq barbershop and follow us on instagram ghq lagos um if you have any contributions to make if you have any thoughts i mean if you're a woman and you feel you want to put your thoughts to it and you're a man and you feel you want to put your ideas to it put your comment below like comment and tell a friend and um, subscribe to at the barbershop real gentlemen Real topics. This has happened to me. All at the GHQ Barbershop.